cold one. Right, convenience function error message on your Mercedes SL and other Mercedes too. So I thought I'd just do this quickly just to show you what it looks like, what to expect and uh, when it should disappear. Okie dokie, so there we go. Convenience function unavailable. And the reason is the battery is too low. There's two batteries, one in the back and one in the front. Once the battery charges, it will start to uh, get to the right amount of current and voltage in the car. Um, and just as I said that, I've been driving now for about 10 minutes. Um, and I've noticed that my little light down here has switched on. So this is the revolt meter I've installed. Um, it's quite handy because if I put, say, the, if I put the, uh, the heating on for the rear window, you see how it fluctuates up to 14.3 and likewise if I was to say put the uh, put the main lights on the voltage will fluctuate there you go just about there so that's telling me the alternator is working but also as a little um, side point when this is on and it draws power from the cigarette lighter then I know the convenience function is back on again so the cigarette lighter in other words that won't work when the convenience function is on Neither will your cruise control. I find that that doesn't work. I also find that the buttons on the side here, which should be working now, there we go, cooling seats, and obviously heated seats, that all works now and that won't. So they're the convenient features that it talks about. And there's a few others as well. So bottom line is when it doesn't come on the dash, then the convenience feature, um, which is only a momentary error message, means that it's gone, the battery's got to a right charge level, and everything should be good. If I turn it off now, let's try starting again. Okay, so the uh, error message for the convenience functions has now disappeared, and that tells me that the car battery has charged up. That's it really, it's, it's no more complicated than that, but the root cause of why the uh, convenience function error message comes up is down to the fact that you've got a low battery. So have a think about um, why your battery might be losing power. To give you an idea, I used to use this car every single day. I used to commute from Scotland to London, which is six hours, so it's going to charge easily in that time. I'll never have any problems with it. However, recently I bought a little commuter car which to, to go in and out of London, and uh, I'm not using this Mercedes as much. Um, and what I found is because I don't use it for maybe two, three weeks at a time, it starts no problem, it's fantastic. Um, but on occasion, especially when it's cold and the battery takes more power when it's cold as well, that this convenient function comes up. So don't worry about it too much if you haven't seen it before and that if you're not using your car, that's probably the reason. If, however, you're using the car every single day and then you're seeing that, then it's probably a good indication that it's time to change the battery. And personally, I would go for the one in the back that's your main power battery. The one in the front is just starting the, the, the engine. Um, make sure you have a look at the other video I've done as well. Batteries are so important. I really recommend the Mercedes battery. I know a fair bit about batteries and I've tried all different brands and I have to say I am really impressed with the stock Mercedes battery. Now people will say, oh, but it's just a Vata with a Mercedes badge on. I've even tried Vata batteries. And even I went to Mercedes and I said to them, I just bought the battery, it's brand new, um, it's not a Mercedes one, but it's given me problems. And he sympathized with me and he said, I'll tell you what, I'll sell you the Mercedes battery and I'll give you a discount of 20%. So I bought it for, in the UK, about 180, 170 pounds for the battery, um, which was only about 20, 30 pounds more than the one that I got from a, from a, from another store. So if you can afford it, get the Mercedes ones. It, it, it's, it's a really good battery. Thanks very much. If you like it, then I know we all say this, but the reason people say I'll oh, press the, well, the reason I want you to press the like button is because it gives me an indication on my analytics. I'm fairly new to the whole YouTube thing. Yeah, I've been doing this for eight years, but only recently I've kind of got into this a bit more and I love to help people. So the pressing the like button tells me what videos are doing well, what, what videos people like more than others. And if you don't like it, then you don't need to press like. But that's the reason why we say it. And subscribe, well, if you don't like it, you can always unsubscribe later on. You don't have to be with that person forever. So I just thought I'd say those because sometimes people just bang on about subscribing and liking. 
If you like it, great. If you want to subscribe, thanks very much. If you don't want to, it doesn't matter. Till next time, thanks very much. Let's move on, cause it's time to move on.